Hi everyone and thanks for joining me here on my video today. So today we're going to be looking at some of the new host controls that you can find in Google Meet and how to use them effectively. And some of the other little odds uh, and sods that I've found that I really quite like. So I just want to walk you through some of those now in today's video. So the first thing I want to show you is how to pin yourself or change your layout on the screen. Now I've also done a video on this showing you how to change a tiled view and stuff like that. Uh, but something I've noticed over the last few days is if I hover over my profile picture now I have the option to pin myself to the screen so you can see me in full screen alternatively I can remove me from the tile and just have the other people in the meet so before we all used to say that we can't see ourselves apart from this little box at the top but now we can include ourselves within our grid view by clicking the button over our face which I really like so it's just two little buttons over there that have been added but two that I really like and I think are really effective. So um, this will be available on all of your accounts, whether that be Enterprise for Education, uh, normal Google Workspace, or even personal accounts as well. So this will roll out to you slowly over the next few weeks. Uh, make sure to look out for it, because it's a really cool feature and one that I really like. So there's also some new host controls in Google Meet, which only the host or the person who created the meeting will be able to access and um, change. So I'm here as a host, and I've also got one of my demo accounts in the meeting as well, just to show you how things work. Um, but if I go down, uh, if I move my mouse across the screen, I'll see uh, I've got this new padlock down here. So this is host controls. Now I have got another way to get to it by going to my traffic lights, um, and going into, uh, sorry, not traffic lights, go up to my people up here. Um, I have host controls in this menu here as well. So two different ways I can get to it there, via the bottom or via the people tab. So I'm going to click on host controls here. Now this is going to be a little drop down with just two options, but there is a wider range if I click view or host settings. So this will pop up. And the first one you'll see here is quick access. So when this is turned off, only people invited by the host can join without asking. So that avoids the whole um, doorbell process, as most of us will know it as. Um, when it's turned off, everyone else must ask to join, including people who dial in via the number. Um, a lot of us in the UK don't do that. Uh, but for my US friends, this is something that might be good for you. People can't join anonymously, so it stops the meat bombers that a lot of us have had, um, unfortunately. Um, not so much in a domain setting in terms of um, school lessons, but especially with staff meetings and things with Global Keg, we've had a few of those. So when turning this off, that avoids that sort of thing. And only hosts can dial out of a meeting. So um, this is good if you want to restrict the people who can and can't join your meeting um, with ease. So if you've got this um, off, only people that uh, are invited via the host or the person who created the meeting um, can join without asking or knocking. So if this is in Google Classroom, the teacher would be the host um, and the people in the classroom would be able to join without asking because they're invited via the teacher uh, through the Google Classroom setup anyway. So um, that's one thing I really quite like for privacy and security. Um, you've got everyone is able to share the screen at the moment. You can now turn that off. So only uh, only you can share your screen as a teacher or host. Um, depends on the reason for your meeting. You might want people, everyone to share their screen at different times. But if you're looking at Key Stage 2 or primary students um, that are just clicking buttons, it might be better to turn that off to stop them sharing a the screen and taking um, away from your screen as a teacher. And you also have the options down here to send chat messages. So when turned off, only hosts can send chat messages. So it keeps the chat nice and clear. Uh, for announcements and document links and things you want to send. Um, it doesn't let any other people contribute. And again, this might be good for some meetings, but not good for others. So you can turn this on and off any time for any different meeting. It's very quick and easy to do. Um, and as I say, you can go into the People tab up here and just turn off the share screen and send chat messages at any time really quick and easily. Um, now, something else you've got um, the option to do, I've just got to go into my other account and unmute myself. Um, if I unmute this mic, oh, no, it's going to start echoing. Um, but what I can do, if that's unmuted, um, as a host, I can go in and I can mute uh, this user now. So I can remove, uh, I can mute them by here by going to people, clicking the arrow in the, in the uh, right-hand corner and muting them. And they also pin them to the main screen, and I can also remove them from the meeting. And once I remove them, they can't just rejoin the meeting. So... Um, that's another added security feature. It's been there a little while, but I think it's good um, to re-go over with you. You know, old old but gold, as they say. 
Um, so there's some really cool new privacy features that I really like. Um, I'm just going to put myself back into the screen now because uh, I quite like having me and the other person on the screen. Um, now those are some new buttons that I've found and new things that I really like. Uh, I hope you like them as well. Please feel free to share this with friends and colleagues. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be lots of new videos coming in the next few weeks across all the different Google tools. Um, I look forward to seeing you there. Take care.